So today we're going to do percent composition. On Thursday we'll do empirical and molecular formula because you have to know how to do percent composition before you can do the empirical and molecular formula. Okay. So if I want to find the percentage of anything, let's say I wanted to know the percentage of girls in this room, what would I do? Part over whole, right? Times 100. So I'd take the number of girls divided by the total number of students, multiply by 100, and that would be my percentage of girls in this classroom. So if I want to do that for compounds, I'm still going to do part over whole um, and then multiply by 100. Only my whole now is going to be my molar mass. And we did molar mass in the beginning of the year. Does anybody remember how we calculate molar mass? You look at the periodic table. You look at the periodic table, and what do you do after you look at the periodic table? You, Other, you add up the what, what of the elements? The atomic masses. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of examples and then you can get started on your worksheet. So this is a very short, short lesson today. So first thing we have to be able to do is write the formulas of the things um, that we need to find the molar mass for. This is why we practiced that yesterday. So if I want to find the molar mass um, of alum, uh, excuse me, ammonium sulfate, how would I write that formula? Well, in, ammonium is NH4+. Plus. NH42, so I put parentheses around those, and then sulfate is SO4. So that would be my formula for ammonium sulfate. So then I would say that I have two nitrogen, right, plus eight hydrogen, plus one sulfur, plus four oxygen. So I would say two times 14.01, and where did I get that number? 8 times 1.01 plus 32.07 per sulfur plus 4 times 16. Okay? So when I add all that up, someone do that. Someone be my calculator and tell me what we would get. Now, when you're doing these, you do not have to write out molar mass. I'm writing it out today because I'm reminding you how we did that. You can do it straight in your calculator. Okay? When we first time, first time we did it, I had you write it out so you'd get used to it, but you can just do it straight in your calculator. Anybody have that? One thirty two point one seven. Does anybody remember what the units are for a molar mass? AMU is when we're doing atomic mass, when we're going to use them as calculations, grams per mole. Thank you, Josh. Grams per mole. Okay. So this other one would be find the mass of molar mass of copper two chloride. So it'd be Cu, Cl two. So try that very quickly in your calculator and see what you get. <laughs> copper is sixty three point five five plus 2 times 35.45. Remember, when we're using the atomic masses, we're going to use them to two decimal places. 134.45 grams per mole. Does anybody agree with that? Someone else should do it. We should always check. We might have transposed a number. I'm bad about transposing numbers, so I always check. Okay. So now we remember how to do molar mass. Now we can do percent composition, which is, I promise you, very easy. Okay? So this is just walking you through percent composition. Same, same principle of the percentage of anything. Okay? So you're going to write the correct formula. Then you find the molar mass because that's your whole. And then you divide the total mass of each element by the molar mass and then multiply by 100. We're going to report our percent compositions in two decimal places. Okay, so let's do an example. This one says find percentage composition by mass of sodium carbonate. If it doesn't tell you a specific element, then you find for all the elements. So first thing is I need to write the formula correctly. So how would I write the formula for sodium carbonate? NaCO3. N no, sodium is a plus one. You can put it back there. So it would be Na2 CO3. Okay? So now we're going to have to find the molar mass of sodium carbonate. So we have 22.99 times 2. 
plus 12.01 plus 3 times 16. And I get 105.99. Someone double check me. Thank you, Brody. So now we're going to find the uh, percent for each one of those elements. So for sodium, I would do 2 times 22.99 divided by 105.99 times 100. So I would get, when I do that, 43.38. Someone, I hope someone's double checking me because I have a bad habit of transposing numbers. Okay? Yeah, you're right. Okay, so then I would do carbon. It doesn't really matter what order, it's just easier to do it in the order of the compound. So then I would do 12.01 divided by 105.99 times 100. Got 11.33. Does anybody else get that? Yeah. And then I have oxygen, so I would do 3 times 16 divided by 105.99 times 100. And I get 45. Point two nine. Now, how can I check myself to see if I did this correctly? Add them, Add them up, and they should equal 100%. Okay. Now, occasionally, if you rounded a little bit different, you might get 99.99 or 100.01. That's close enough for government work. Okay. Because it might you might just rounded. For instance, on that on oxygen, if I had written down 45.28, if I didn't see that I needed to round. I would have gotten 99.99, and that would have that would have been acceptable. Okay, um, so that's how you do it if they want to know each element. Sometimes it'll ask you just for one of the elements in there, and then you just do one of them. Don't do them all unless it asks for it all. Okay, so I'm going to do one more just to make sure you got this down. Uh, but before I do that, does anybody have any questions? Anybody confused on what we did? Excellent. Okay, this one says find the percentage of nitrogen by mass of ammonium nitrate. So in this case, we're just going to be doing nitrogen. We don't have to do the whole compound. But first, I have to know how to write ammonium nitrate. Who wants to tell me how to write that? That is very good, Husnein. That's okay. That's okay. All right, so NH4, NO3. So first thing I need to do is get the molar mass of the entire compound. So everybody get that. So I have two nitrogen, right? Yeah. So 14.01 times 2 plus 4 times 1.01 .01 plus 3 times 16. And hopefully somebody else got 80.06. Did someone else get that? Sure. Okay. You did not. All right. So now we just want nitrogen, so we were going to do 2 times 14.01 over 80.06 times 100. So we should get actually right at 30, when you round it, 35.00% nitrogen. So in that compound of ammonium nitrate, 35% of the mass is coming from the nitrogen. Okay. Any questions? Uh, for percent composition, we're just going to tell you report it to two decimal places. Mm -hmm. To two decimal places.